to another reaction video this is from cj the champ so task at hand we have king bradley on deck and like i said i haven't seen none of these videos i'm plucking them as i go he's covering all of the anime you can think of i'm not even familiar with king bradley but like i said in the comment section just go ahead and leave a comment of where king bradley bestowed himself out of the out of the anime realm like what part of a show or anything like that that he came from i would like to know because i would like to get up to date about these characters because it seems like they some evil ass characters for real for real black force black air force energy all over the place you've seen them in the past couple of videos i did so yeah other than that you're gonna say less let's get into the video all right king bradley here we go all right Ladies oh, and gentlemen, Here it is we finally go. time to return to the round. Hey, 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 hey! Um, yes? Hey, um, listen, kid, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, your round table, Black Air Force, Hall, Senate, whatever the hell it is, uh, yeah, that's not ready yet. What? Um, excuse me, I have a trial to do today. Well, uh, the thing is, we didn't expect you to come back that fast. Cause if we look at your track record back in 2022, it looked like you only uploaded like once a month. Really? Yeah, I mean, I was in college writing too bad. It's not ready. So what does that mean? <laughs> Simple kid, you're homeless. The hell? Man, this is some old bullshit. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're doing this one from the street then. Exhibit A. Read, nigga. Read. All right. Oh, Lord. I now present to you Exhibit A, deceiving an entire country. So in the beginning, okay. when you see Bradley, you look at him and you're like, oh, I mean, nothing seems that bad about him. I mean, look at him. He looks like a nice, old, caring man and a great leader for his country. But <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. little did we know that behind this smile, behind He's this smiling. mask, there was a whole different dog in there. I mean, you could start to see the glimpses of it in the first episode. You had the freezing alchemist talking about, y'all boys don't know a damn thing about this country, do you? That so-called king, Fuhrer, whoever the hell you be following, that motherfucker wow. is not who you think he is, I'll tell you that. And later on, when this man is on his last leg running away, he finds Bradley in a dark alley. And Bradley oh Lord, this is like, not going well. I'm about to Thomas and Martha Wayne your ass in this dark alley, boy. And you can see the fear in this man's face. He is laughing hysterically because he Why knows the hell he laughing? About to die. So he starts running at him and Bradley's just looking at him like, <laughs> trash ass. <laughs> what you running at me for? We and Presto. Ooh. <laughs> he broke his face kills me bro the fact that bro watched this man just by unsheathing his sword is just crazy then after this look at the 180 personality turn ah the illegal brothers hey how what in doing? the world All okay don't worry the situation has been handled i just gave him a little bit of southern hospitality now run along hold up like see this is some crazy stuff already like i know where he gonna sit up there and be stone cold in the face like he really knocks somebody, like he really tear somebody limb for limb where he just decapitate somebody a while ago. But nonetheless, go from doing that and then turn around, and just served him with a smile like afterwards and everything like that. That's 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 crazy. I already see this is gonna be some crazy stuff going on already. We okay, two minutes in. Go tell this story to my son. <laughs> yeah, that so-called son of yours, that absolute abomination of a child <clears throat> what the uh, hell well, ladies and gentlemen let's take a little look at this flashback of bradley not giving a damn so when ed was having his alchemist examination bro tried to pull a fast one to impress bradley and he's like yeah you know you should really rethink these examinations because <laughs> this would be an easy time to kill you my boy so bradley said wow not bad not bad at all kid but uh <laughs> watch your jet little nigga 
Hey, my boy, I got high hopes for you. Hey. Hell no. When this old bastard take out his sword? But no. What's I don't know. Crazier? All right, but you better watch out. Segment, all right, P, my boy Hughes, you know, he was a real nigga. And also, f that nigga Envy. All my homies hate Envy. I will personally go to his funeral and take a fat stink dookie on that man's casket, bro. Uh, uh, so they're uh, having the funeral for Hughes, right? So they see this man Bradley shaking over here. So you got to be thinking when you first watching this, oh, I mean, he's just shaking because, you know, his comrade just died. No, this man is shaking in pure rage because Hughes' daughter is crying at her dad's funeral. Oh my God. Bro, oh. grung with you, cuh? Dog is like, oh my God, this stupid little bitch don't shut the fuck up. Really? You got to be kidding me right now. He actually like, I'm I'm hoping he making this up, cause dude, if he's sitting up here about to spaz out over a baby crying at a at a funeral, I swear, boy, that's gonna be some crazy shit for him. Bro, I've never seen a man get mad at somebody for crying at their family member's funeral. But we finally get to see how ruthless this man is when he goes to hunt down. That was nest. So bro pulls up in the sewer and says, "Well, well, well, what the hell do we have going on down here?" Looks like a fuck fist of illegal activity. Whoa. How he just switched up just like that. He had a whole coat on. A whole, you know, six button coat. Now he's like in Deadpool attire. Like he's like ready to go to work. But both his, he didn't even have one sword. He had one sword last time. Now he got two. So... Yeah, we about to see how ruthless this is. In my country's suits. Now I'ma need to see some IDs. He about to put in that work. IDs. Why should I have to comply? Because motherfucker, I am the law. And when I see illegal activity in my country and they do not comply with my law, then I will have to use force and open a can of whoop ass on your dumb ass. So this oh. man Creed keep on talking, but Bradley cuts off this man's hand and he's like, Ooh. I told you, if you don't comply, I'll have to use force. Now bring your ass over here and stop resisting. And Bradley started peeing off on bro. So then he oh. this man in the neck and he's like, Wow. You like that, boy? I told you to stop resisting. So then Greed looks at Bradley's eye. He ends up realizing, oh my God, this old ass nigga's crying. Yeah, you know who I am now, don't you, boy? Now you see, Greed, Whoa. you want to know what you are? All you are is a lazy, lousy, greedy piece of gorilla shit. Dang. You absolute waste of oxygen. How many times do I have to kill you to make you stop resisting? So then later on, Alphonse ends up hey. greed walking like a dead man. And he just falls with a sword in his neck. And Bradley's like, and that makes 15. God damn, you're a tough cookie, aren't you, boy? This man has killed greed 15, 15 times. times. So then these other Chimera end up pulling up. And Bradley's looking at him like, <laughs> hell are they doing i hope they're not challenging me goddamn fodder criminal pieces of shit <laughs> i don't even like they've they already been in the fight so they start running out oh no here we go like just quick work of them bro cut his big ass in the cheese cubes so then grease start talking again like <laughs> so wow like, like work of my fodder friends well i have you know they meant nothing to me killing my possessions like that who do you think you are Greed, you pathetic scum. I told you to stop resisting. But well, then Bradley starts blitzing him, beating the dog water out of this man. Then he's like, Dang. stay put there. I'll be right back. So then he walks over to Al, looks at him and says, now, Alphonse, what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals? It looks like you need some oh my something God. jumbled up inside of you. You got like a bad shawty sitting in there or something? So Al had the other girl, Martel, sitting in his suit. So she takes over his suit and starts choking Bradley. And Dog's just looking at her like, <laughs> well, ain't you a What? Bitch. I know so he, he not. Oh, my God. I know he did not just sit up there and just kill her. I just hope he didn't. I'm pretty sure he did, but. He snuffs the sword and kills him. Nah, bro, this man is a demon. So then some. Oh, no, you got regular flowers? Yeah, oh, man. Check it out. Whoa. 
Get out of here. Minutes later, Alan's up waking up. And he starts crying because he couldn't save her. So then Bradley walks over and he's like, now, now, boys, before you smiling and shit. For you. Number one, what the hell were you doing down here with these criminals? Number two, did you do any illegal activities with these criminals? And number three, did you trade any government classified material with these criminals? Because if you did, then I'll execute your two SOBs right now. <laughs> nope, 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 well, swear to God, we did not do anything. <laughs> well, aren't y'all some two good nice little boys all right and now y'all have a good day be careful going home now <laughs> no, the personality what? swap is crazy so then after this some time passes he literally watches lust die for us standing behind the corner like hmm should i go in there and help her or should i get really? my cover i mean i don't want to blow my cover then i'm a whole ass humunculus yet I mean, her cooch is not even really all that. Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Man, Later he's cold. This, they end up trying to go hunt down Scar. But Bradley's in this alley, and he's like, Gluttony, come on and bring your fat ass out here. <laughs> yes, sir. Are we going to be... What the hell is that? The characters on this mug is, like, beyond crazy, yo. He look like he... Yeah, like he about to sit up there and start tongue kissing somebody's ass, yo, for real. Like he grinning like the chest of cheetah and all that, man. That shit's crazy. Able to eat them as a snack. So then Long Fawn and Link oh. end up intervening. But then here come Bradley. Well, what the hell do we got here? Looks like some foreign invaders in my country. I'm gonna need mm. to see your visas and your passports. But you know what? Never mind. They go with the soul. I'll just deport you in a body bag. So bro, oh, fun. Jesus Christ, nigga hit the dash from zero to a hundred. Then he's looking at Ling like, now, 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 where the hell you think you going? Now, the only way you leave in my country is in a body bag. So he starts oh, swinging and gluttony to hit him over to the other building. So then he goes over to him and starts saying, now listen here, I need you to stop resisting because I have some questions for you. Question number one, who the f are you? Number two, why are you here? And number three, weren't you in one of my goddamn jail cells like four episodes ago? Well, I mean, uh, your security is kind of <laughs> ass. Four episodes so I mean, ago. Kinda easily. Well, aren't you a cocky some bitch? Throwing flashbang. Ah, you he got out he got out of there then bradley throws a sword nope. at him then he says hmm looks like your flashbang worked on my other eye but this one <laughs> well you see i got tack mask on this one now then boy i need you to stop resisting so please comply Man. then you can die but they ended up having a grenade so they ended up escaping bradley and he's like well shucks aren't they some clever bastards so he keeps on tracking them down forever and the only way they were able to escape him was for lawn fawn to cut off her arm and strap it to a dog so it would throw the scent off of what the and he's just looking in disgust like hmm, well ain't this some shit, little crafty bastards exhibit wow Exhibit B. Oh, no. All right, now, so look. Before we get into Exhibit C, which is probably some of the most unadulterated, B? insane shit you will ever see in your life, we have to get through Exhibit B, which is this man's origins and him literally committing Order 66. So this okay. man Bradley was raised in a lab with a bunch of other little niggas for the sole purpose to become the Fuhrer. So they basically had these little niggas trapped up in I the ring known that. on some Black Widow sh training day and night with these creepy ass doctors. Look at dog, bro just stabbed him and he over his shoulder like, oh yes, very nice. Don't worry, he's just a bitch nigga here to help you with your goals. But See, I man, mean, the it's crazy. of all this was for her father to put a philosopher stone in somebody, make him the humunculus of wrath and roll the entire country so a bunch of people died during the process because they couldn't withstand his power but bradley survived getting shot up he survived with damn it. captain america super soldier serum and this man became captain the mistress well no he just became wrath and the fury so during the ish volume war caused by this absolute crack baby this man bradley issues order 3066 now you okay. may be wondering, oh, what does that mean? Well, yeah. look at the last two numbers. This man executed Order 66. <laughs> so he had state out including crazy ass bastards like Kimberly, this absolute psychopath, to basically exterminate the Ishbalan people. 
So after they were just completely slaughtered, their high priest ends up surrendering to Bradley. So he wants Bradley to kill him so he could stop slaughtering his people. But then this man Bradley said, well ain't that some pathetic shit. Do you really think your single life is important as these other niggas? Now you listen here, Buckaroo. I couldn't give a damn about you or your people. Wow. So do yourself a favor and f off. <laughs> <sighs> f you. You shall be struck down by the hammer of God. <laughs> God? Really? Hey, hey, y'all hearing this shit right now? <laughs> Talking about he gonna strike me now. Hey, why ain't he done it yet? Oh, oh, wait, exactly. Cause he's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. That's Yo. Do it yourselves, you rat bastard pussies. Yeah, uh, this man Bradley has committed some absolute atrocities. They were literally killing these people to make philosopher stones. So now we go back to the what present the hell? day. So the government starts moving forward with their plan. Bradley basically got this man Mustang under a hostage situation. Dude disbanded <laughs> his entire company, then started what? telling him, you know, I really can't stand you damn humans. Y'all really do piss me off. Oh, and also that thick shawty Risa, she's my personal assistant now. So I could keep a close eye on her if you know what I mean, Mustang. Then later that day, he calls Ed and Al in there and starts saying, Now listen here, you two little uppity ass boys. Y'all little rambunctious fatherless and motherless children have been pissing me off since day one. That's why your mama dead and your daddy went to go get milk. And he ain't had to talk, he so talk that much smack to him. Sacrifice. No, f this. How about I just quit? Now, you see, I can't allow you to do that, boy. <laughs> well, I just did. What's that shot you like again? Uh, Winry. Yeah, yeah, her. I'll fucking kill that bitch. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, that's what I really? thought. Now, run along, boys. Oh, but Alphonse, just one second. Really? <laughs> bad. I thought you was hiding somebody in there again. You're dismissed. And now nah, what's crazy? What the hell? This dude is like relentless. Like he's sitting out here thinking somebody is like hiding inside the the suit or whatever. May was hiding in his suit the whole time. So then Whoa. one night greed in Link's body. For real? Like run that back. For real? Somebody in there again. You're dismissed. And now nah, what's crazy? May was hiding in his suit the whole time. So then one night, Green wow. and Link's body runs up on Bradley and commits home invasion because he's having PTSD when Bradley came and spun his whole block. So Bradley's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Greed? Running up on my goddamn property. Boy, I will beat your ass. So Bradley ooh, 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 beat ooh. this man, throwing him around and everything. And he was about to Dang. kill him, but Greed used that army man hockey. And he was like, nah, G, this ain't it. Hey, huh? Where the hell you think you going? <laughs> you just gonna spit my block and leave? Well, ain't you pussy? So then, oh my god, Bradley went away to a training exercise. So he's on the way back coming on the Polar Express. But Roy's rebellion set him up and caught this man lacking, and they ended up blowing up the tracks, seemingly killing this man. <laughs> seemingly. Seemingly. Exhibit C. Oh lord. And I bumped into one of my brother's friend's mom, and she was just so thrilled that he had graduated from school camp and then found. All right. All right, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit, Exhibit C, C. Wrath of the Black Forces. So the rebellion oh, to stop father's plan. Looks like it was a success. The Fort Briggs men fully take over Central, and it looks like they finally won. Well, uh, it looks like somebody it. came back. And um, what kind of fashion Hello? he gonna come in? Hello, is anybody on this line? Hello? Oh, shit. Olivier, is that your fine ass on the end of this line? But anyway, mm. let me get serious. Greetings, I'm back. And it looks like she has spawned out of control since I've been gone. As, as of now, I keep motherfucking Bradley. We'll be personally taking control of this entire fucking operation. Cause it looks like you all can't do jack shit. Without me, can you? I'm gone for one fucking day and they take over my goddamn house. My goddamn property! Goddamn rebel scum, I'll show you. Ugh, where's he coming from? <laughs> He's coming through the front door! Hang up the damn phone. 
Valentine, nigga! Kingo Bradley! <laughs> Yo, stupid. Rebel criminals on my property. Bag your ass up. Wow. Yes, sir. All this damage control. I hope What is that in the back? Because they going to need it. So this man Bradley is about to storm his own castle. Look at dog rolling up his sleeves. So then he's like, did these rebel scum really think I would just walk in the back door of my own goddamn house? I think I'll walk through the front. Thank you very much. So bro hit the dash. Oh, he is shoot. deflecting bullets. Oh, hell nah. Dog cut the cake shell in half. Wow. Damage. Bro hit a triple collat on some dudes that was just minding their own business. Oh, man. Man, that's a terrible way to just go out. So the dude I know. in the tank like, oh hell no, I ain't signed up for this. I bail out. <laughs> Bro, like, how in the world are you gonna back up into the building? Like, you gonna get away from here? Cause I'm pretty sure he's like locked dead on on your ass. Like for real. Like, how the? Bro, out. <laughs> What? Jesus, we need a medic! James Lucini, can you hit the motherfucker? I'm trying! I'm trying! You missing? Yeah, that's right! We got his ass! Wait a minute, what the fuck? No, y'all don't. Dirty red scum! What the hell are you doing, Sergeant? Take over the control! Uh, yes, sir! Oh, la -dee -dee. Oh Where my god. <laughs> Off with your head. Well, f me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This man Bradley just took out a tank and came out of that whole unscathed knob, nah, bro. And he just walking in there. He's just terrified. walking. And the thing is, these are not just regular soldiers. These are Fort Briggs men. They was hyped up to be the Ross of the Raw. And they looking like some real bitches right now. Well, I mean, shoot, I would be too if I just saw a man take out a tank. So then this man exactly. broke here ran at him. But Bradley said, oh, Lord. Sit your dumb ass down. And bro, still walking no. <laughs> then he Okay, this is my thing. Why is everybody charging at this dude? When he can put out one stroke, one effort stroke, and then you can basically knock you down to your knees or decapitate your head or even better, poke you until you bleed to death. Like, why is everybody running up to this dude? Why? That's the question. Got up, then he blasted him again. Nah, bro, this man Bradley's one of the coldest men to ever do it, bro. Bro, just nonchalantly washed Buccaneer. Dude was built up as a hard ass nigga, too. So then he looks at the old dude and says, Now, what's the issue? Your country's leader has returned. So open the goddamn door, Lieutenant. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna fold. Yeah, you gonna fold. Oh, What's wrong, Lieutenant? You're gonna piss your pants or something? But then Greed ends up showing up for round three. So they start scrapping and this man Bradley is playing no games, took off the eye patch and just started going crazy. Oh, and the shoot. other dude starts shooting him, but Dog activates Ultra Instinct, washes the soldiers, then gives a sniffy to Buccaneer. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold, on, hold up. Yeah, uh, he, he stabbed him. Hold up. Isn't he supposed to be down already? Was supposed to be out. He stabbed him in the gut. So we're sores in his gut. Oh my god, bro. Anyways, bro picks up some knives from a dead body, and bro's like, hmm, this ain't my weapon of choice, but it'll do. So then the old grandpa ninja ends up pulling up, and Bradley's just looking at him like, what the hell this old man gonna do? He think he's gonna make a difference? <laughs> what an idiot. So he starts scrapping with both of them. So he catch the old man lacking, and he said, hmm, looks like you're older than Smack I am. But this is as old as you gon' get. <laughs> but then Grandpa Fu ends up getting up again and tries to blow himself up. But Bradley perfectly cut the fuses of the grenades. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. So yeah, but that man How? With such precision. How? Cut the fuses off. 
and also did a same the same swipe through the person the old man's body like oh my god you can't you can't make this stuff up yo for real and was done, but Buccaneer repaid the favor and stabbed him. So Creed started running at Bradley, but Bradley was still opening the can of whoop ass on. So they about to fall off the palace, but Lanfon saves Greed, and the soldier shot Bradley and he lost his grip and fell down into the water. So after this man caused complete chaos and killed Fu and basically Buccaneer, you gotta think, oh, he's dead. He must have just drowned to death. No. <laughs> no. no. This man pulls up on Mustang and is still kicking. Oh. Meet your next pillow. God, baby. Why do we make our pillow in the shape of a cube? I'll tell you. Holy moly, this man's durability is out of this world. The dog's like, well, what's good, Mustang? You know, Mustang, you humans really do piss me off. I, I can't stand it when I can't predict how you act. But anyways, bring your little stupid ass over here. So Bradley wow. pulls Mustang down, and he's like, well, Time to make you a sacrifice. So he ends up making Rory go through equivalent exchange and he basically ended up making the man blind because he lost his sight. So after this, Bradley's not doing so good. He's taking too much damage and that brother is starting to bleed out. So he's like, well, come on then. Who wants to dance with the Fuhrer? Who wants to kill me? Come on, step up. Don't be a bitch. So then Scar ends up stepping up. So Bradley's like, oh yes, oh yes. Oh Lord, this is not going to be I've well. for this day. Ever since your uppity ass came running up and making a ruckus in Central. Now you ready to join your people, nigga? Now come get this face! So Scar punched me Bradley like, come on, you goddamn pussy! Swing! You can hit really? me harder than that now, can't you pussy? So they start really, really scrapping. And this man Bradley is on the verge of death, but he looks like he's having the time of his life. It got to the point where this man Scar had to use alchemy. Man, see, this John is taboo and had to use it. Bradley's like, hmm, well, ain't you an interesting boy? So they continue to fight, and at this point, Bradley's just talking shit. Bruh saying, where's your god at, huh? Where was he at when I killed all your people? Answer me, nigga. Look at you using alchemy. Have wow. You in your god? So Bradley gets scarred down, and he's about to kill him, but before he does it, he says, and you think your god exists? That nigga ain't shit. But then really? an act of God happens. The shun signs and Scar hits Bradley and he finally finishes that man. But he still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus Christ, bro, this man is a demon. Dog said, oh. if I'm going out, then I'm going out with a bang. So while Bradley is on his last breath, he's like, well, damn, I had a good life. I'll tell you that. So then Lon Fawn comes over and she says, did you even love anybody in your life? <laughs> well, I tell you, my wife had some really nice coochie. I'll tell you that, boo boo. And see, look. Bruh, bro, really? <laughs> really? You was asking all them questions. You ain't even gonna get vengeance for your grandpa because I'm about to die. <laughs> so you can suck my dick from the other side. What? Well. I guess I'll just stay in my box till my haul is ready. Wow. That's a that's a nice Wow, like that's a nice summary of King Bread. Wow. Like that's psh, dude is ruthless. Ruthless, ruthless. Where to you, boy? But yes, that's that's some stuff right there. And they make you want to look at it. Yeah, make sure you comment in the um in the comment section about where King Bradley resides in the anime world. You know, what show he came from and all that stuff. Give me some ideas of what to look at, you know, on my free time off on the weekends and stuff like that. So, you know, hit me up with that. Also, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe to both this channel and the gaming channel. The gaming channel, you know, the link is in the description. And, yeah, pretty much done with the video. And, you know, see you in the next one, next reaction video. And I'm out this thing. Peace.